this is, this is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Got some big news. We're going to get into Usyk and Dubois. Uh, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blogger, all forms of social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Um, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Also, please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and recovery. So uh, let's get into uh, today's show. Uh, the big news, the WBA orders Dubois, sorry, and Usyk. And uh, look, it's not the fight we wanted. The fight we wanted, obviously, uh, Tyson Fury with Usyk, not going to happen. Um, Tyson Fury obviously ducked Usyk. Not, not a fight he wants, not a fight he can win. You know, the, 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 the kind of bottom line here is that no one can beat Usyk. So Tyson Fury is one of those guys that goes into the abyss of guys that can't beat Tyson Fury, right? Like the, 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 the mountain, the, the piles of guys who can't beat Tyson Fury. Um, I, I'm really, really high on Dubois, I, I, I'm not thrilled with the way he went out in the Joe Joyce fight. I, I think that was a dang shame. I, I think that was a fight that, you know, he was up on my scorecard. I think I had him down a point at that point. I had him up and down at one point, I forget. But it was very close in the 10th round. Um, and he quit but from a jab. He took a knee and he quit. Yeah, I understand he fractured his eye socket. I, I I understand that. You don't know that your eye socket is fr is fractured until you go see. It. I mean, he didn't know that, right? And and he quit. And you, you go back all the way back to the fight, um, you know, in against Nathan Gorman in, in July of 2019. It's four years ago already. That's incredible, right? But he was on top of the world at that point. He destroyed Gorman. Uh, then came back a couple months later and destroyed a guy named Ebenezer. Tete, who was 19-0, then destroyed, destroyed Fujimoto, and then destroyed uh, Ricardo Snyders, um, and then the Joe Joyce fight. But even since then, 4-0, four knockouts, hasn't gone past the first round. He's got a knockout in the first round, second round, third round, fourth round. He destroyed Bogdan Dino in the second round, Mike Paisano, Joey Cusimano in the first round, um, Trevor Bryan in the fourth round. And then he beat uh, – who the heck did he just beat? Uh, Kevin Lorena uh, in the third round. He's destroying everyone again. I, I don't think he's going to win this fight. I, I don't think anyone beats Usyk because how is he going to beat him? He's not he, – but you know, there's no path to victory for him really with Usyk, right? Like he's not going to outbox him. He's going to have to get in. And explain. It's, it's a tough fight to win. That being said, it is not a bad constellation. I, I think the world of Daniel Dubois. I think Daniel Dubois, uh, you know, he was my fighter uh, prospect of the year in 2019. I, I thought he was the future of the heavyweight division. I still think that. You know, for a heavyweight, he's 25. That's still really young. That's still really young for a heavyweight. 25 is really young for a heavyweight. You know, he hasn't hit his man strength yet. He hasn't got his full grown man strength. Like, I, I still think the world of Daniel Dubois. Um, and I think he's going to be just fine. I, I don't think he's going to win this fight. You know, so I think he'll fall in 19 2. But at 25, he's got 10 more years, another decade as a premier heavyweight. He will win world title, he will win a world title at the heavyweight division. That's for sure. Um, I I'm really, really high on Daniel Dubois. <clears throat> I, I think he could beat Joshua. How about that? I think if he fought Joshua next, he could beat Joshua. I said what I said. Th that being said, it's not the fight we want. It's there's no date on this fight yet, and I've seen if you guys have seen the date, let me know. Um, it's this is a good fight. It's not a great fight. It's not the fight we wanted. It's a good consolation prize. Um, 
And again, how Usyk is thirty six. He turned thirty six earlier this year. How how many more fights is Usyk gonna have? You know, we're running out of time here. I don't think the fight with Fury is gonna happen. Is Fury scared of him? Um, so I, I don't know that we're gonna get an undefeated, uh, undisputed, undisputed heavyweight champ. Not anytime soon. Not Usyk and Fury. It's kind of my gut instincts. <clears throat> I, I don't know what Fury is from here. But this fight's going to happen. And I know it's going to make a lot of people unhappy, but it, it's a really good fight. I, I, I think Dubois beats every heavyweight in the world uh, besides a handful at the very top. I, I think he's for sure a top 10 heavyweight. He's probably somewhere about six or seven. So you get two of the top six or seven guys in the weight class. You know, like I said, I think, you know, you can't put him ahead of AJ because AJ's resume is much, much better, you know. Um, like, just Jermaine Franklin that he beat is probably better than anyone. No, no, no. It, well, yeah, it is better than anyone on um, Dubois' resume, right? It, it is what it is. Um. Dubois' resume is not great. You know, he's got a couple of decent fighters on it. You know, this is obviously another level that he's never seen before. And, and then one, one time he did step up, he was doing well until he lost against Joe Joyce. And, and, and we've seen what Usyk did to Joe Joyce uh, back in the uh, uh, whatever they call it. The, uh, the brain doesn't work anymore. The World Series of Boxing. Uh, we saw, you know, Usyk is in another level from Joe Joyce. Um, but obviously Jojo is a much different fighter than Usyk. Dubois is going to have a different style. He's going to fight this fight differently than he fought for, for Joe Joyce. Um, Joe Joyce does nothing but jab, right? Like he very rarely even throws a right hand. So stylistically, you know, this is a very different fight where you get a combination puncher um, like Usyk. I don't think it's going to change much. I, I, I think Dubois will show okay for himself. He will do okay. It will be a decent fight. It will be a decent scrap. Um, I, if I was Usyk, I wouldn't go anywhere near this fight in London. You're, I'm done fighting uh, in London. I, I'm not going into London to fight a Londoner. Like That's ridiculous. Not when I'm the unified heavyweight champ. And like think about it. Usyk versus Dubois is going the distance, right? Like It's a knockout. I can't see it being a knockout. Like this is going the distance. Um, if Dubois got a decision, the fight to make with Fury is very easy. That's one reason why I wouldn't fight him, right? Because you're gonna get that fight with Fury. It'd be easy to make. Frank Warren and Bob Aram. It's easy to make. Simple. That's why. Like I'm not gonna. What I'm saying is the path to Rob Usyk. Is right in front of you. It's right. Like, don't take this fight in London. Don't go to England. Go somewhere else. Go to the United States. Go to Russia. Go to Hamburg, Germany. Doesn't matter. Do not fight him. Usyk, do not fight him in London. Don't fight him in England. Don't fight him in the O2. Go fight him somewhere on neutral ground. Um, because the recipe to rob you is all there, right? If they rob you, then they can make Dubai and Tyson Fury. And you don't want that. So go take this fight somewhere else. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, again, not the fight we wanted, not the Tyson Fury fight, not going to get that fight because Tyson Fury is scared of Usyk because he can't beat Usyk, but it's not a bad consolation prize. Uh, Dubois Usyk is a really good fight. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Give me your predictions. Is anyone going to pick Dubois? I'm a big Dubois fan. Thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Quick hits come at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Uh, please follow 3D Boxing in all forms of social media. Um, and also, um, please subscribe to us on Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. It is February. No, it's not. It is not February. It is April 3rd, 2023. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.